We are going to check out Wasabi Wallet as it is one of the wallets featured on Bitcoin.org. It gets overall really good reviews other than the centralized servers that it relies on by default. Aside from that, it is an open source, non-custodial, privacy-focused Bitcoin wallet for Windows, Linux, and Mac. So you just go to the wasabi.io, wasabiwallet.io download page and select your operating system of choice. And once you install it, as you would any other application, you open the wallet and this is the screen you will initially see. Then you'll click continue. And here you have coin join fees. And it explains the fees a little bit. All right. Get started by creating a new wallet. And then here is the same area where you would click recover a wallet or import a wallet if you already had a seed phrase. And here you can name the wallet anything you would like. We'll just call it wallet one and click next. Now here is your seed phrase. This seed phrase you'll want to store somewhere safe, preferably written down with a pen and paper and stored in a safe somewhere. You don't want to save this on your computer because if your computer is compromised or anything happens to it or someone else gains access to these 12 words, they can fully restore your wallet themselves and access all of your funds, draining your account. And as Bitcoin becomes more and more popular, I would assume more and more viruses and things like that will target computers looking for these seed phrases stored on computers. So you don't want to store it on your computer. Store it with a pen and paper inside of a safe or somewhere safe. But you don't want to lose it either because if you lose these 12 words and you do need to restore your wallet on a different device, you'll be out of luck. These 12 words will fully restore your wallet all by themselves. These are the only things you need to back up these, this wallet. As you saw in the previous screen, where you would recover a wallet, you just enter the words you had already generated and you'll be good to go. Okay, so we're going to generate a new wallet with these 12 words. And what we'll do is write them down. And once written down, you'll click continue. And then you will need to verify that you actually wrote them down. So word one was minute, enjoy pyramid train, enjoy pyramid Train, Kingdom Adjust Cactus Album, Kingdom Adjust Cactus Album, Random Ghost Swear Solid, Random Ghost Swear Solid, not where. Click Next, put a password so that nobody can access your wallet from this computer, and... Here's a little more information about how CoinJoin works. Click continue, and you have added the wallet to Wasabi. Enter your password to log in. Agree to the terms and conditions. And here you have it. Your Bitcoin balance will go here. Privacy progress and exchange rate, the current price of Bitcoin. Let's see here, to receive Bitcoin, you'll simply select receive, and you can, for your own personal records, enter Alice cookies. Continue. And then you will have a Bitcoin address that you can give to Alice so she can send you your Bitcoin for the cookies you made her. Let's go more into the settings. There's dark mode. 
run when the computer starts, run in the background with the window closed. All of these look good by default. You can change if you want your Bitcoin to be displayed in Bitcoin or SATs. We'll keep it as Bitcoin for now. Main network or test net. And, ooh, coin join settings. I think that's where we want to go. Coin join strategy, maximum speed. Yes, we saw this on another screen. Maximize cost, maximize speed, maximize privacy. Well, you can learn more about how coin joining works on the website here. We're just looking at the actual wallet for now. But yes, this wallet looks very interesting. It has a very clean interface. It looks amazing. It looks like one of the more attractive wallet softwares out of the list I've reviewed so far. The list being this one here. And yeah, let's see what other options we can find here. What's discrete mode? Oh, it just blocks out your balance. Okay. But yeah, wallet looks interesting. Wallet settings, verify recovery words. Let's see, wallet st stats. Interesting. And wallet info. All right, here you can manage your private keys and a lot of other op wallet options that I would recommend you not change because, yeah, if you change any of these paths, it will not restore to the same wallet and it may appear as your coins are no longer in your wallet, even though they will be there existing, but it'll be reading from a different path and you don't want that. So I would leave most of these as the default unless you know what you're doing. And yeah, that is pretty much the wallet overview, what it looks like, some of the more basic settings, and then to get more into the advanced settings, I would go over here to the documents and yeah, really dive in. But yes, that is it for this review. And thank you for watching.